So in last week's video, we looked at standing behind the line of the shot, uh, thinking three shots ahead and having a plan for the shot, and then where to hit the white in order to get the white where we wanted it to go. In today's video, we're going to look at actually walking into the shot, so where your feet should be placed and how to stand. And then I'm just going to mention a couple of things about feathering up when you're down on the shot and then playing the shot. I'm not going to go into too much detail on this video about uh, forming a bridge, your bridge length, grip and things like that. There's lots of videos on YouTube. Maybe I'll do a video on those in the future if people want to see those. But for today, we're just going to talk about walking in and where to stand. As you can see, I've got this little line that I've put on the table today. This is a line of aim for potting this black ball off the spot. So I've done it on a black off the spot like this because I think it's easier and a more realistic example than when people sometimes do it on the balk line or when they're doing it potting a blue to the middle. I think it's easier to explain and understand if you look at it on a normal shot, which would be a standard black off the spot like this. So let's stand behind the shot, have a look at how this line looks and then where we should be placing our feet and walking into the shot. So this is the line that the white's going to take in order to pot the black off the spot. And this is what we call the line of aim. So when you're standing up behind the shot, this is what you should be imagining and visualizing as you're standing up. Now, I've made this line go all the way off the table and all the way down onto the floor here. And this is the line when we're standing behind the shot and preparing that we want to visualize so that we're comfortable to play the shot. So we know this line of aim now. Now let's have a look at um, actually getting down into our stance and where our feet should be placed. So I'm standing up here behind the line of the shot and my right foot is very very slightly to the right of this line of aim. Now as we discussed in the last video and I'll link that video in the description so if you haven't seen it have a look at that. As we discussed in the last video it's not absolutely crucial exactly where your feet are positioned at this point. So what is important is that you're standing with your head in a nice comfortable position so that you can visualize this line of aim nicely. And, that's the, and this is the position for me, where I'm standing now, this is the position that I can see this line and I can visualize the line that the white needs to take in order to contact the black at the correct point. A question that gets asked quite a lot when we talk about standing up behind the line of the shot like this, is how far away from the white ball should you be? So how far away from the table should you be standing before we do air walking? Now, my advice on this is that there's no exact science. There's not an exact measurement that I can give you of how far away we should be from the table before we start our walking. So, as a rough guide, what you can do is stand behind the line of aim, and then if you put your cue out in front of you so that your cue tip is almost touching the white ball, that's roughly the distance we should be from the table before we get down and, and we do our walking and we play the shot. One final point on this, if you look at Judd Trump, he stands behind the line and he has quite a little small walking when he walks in to play the shot. If you look at someone like Neil Robertson, he stands behind the line and he has a really big step in when he gets down to play the shot. So, as I say, there's not an exact science. What is important is that we stand behind this line each time and we have a consistent walk-in and approach to every single shot. And then the next step for us to do is to actually walk into the shot. Now, in my opinion, this gets overcomplicated a little bit as well. What we're actually doing here is we're just forming a nice solid base. So you wouldn't stand with your feet too close together and we don't want our feet too far apart. What we want is just a nice solid base to stand on when we play the shot. So if I stand with my cue out in front of me like we just talked about and then I take my step and get, get down into the shot, I just have my feet a nice distance apart so that I've got a nice firm base. So then when we actually walk in to play the shot, where exactly do our feet get positioned on the floor? Now, obviously everything I'm about to say here um, is for right-handed players, so if you're a left-handed player, it's obviously just the opposites of what I say here. So when we walk into the shot, what's important is we place the heel of this right foot on the line of the shot. Now, it's not absolutely crucial exactly where your foot points. You don't need to point your foot down the line of the shot you can turn the right foot out very slightly just so that it's a little bit more comfortable on the shot. So that's where your right foot goes. You take your step in, you place your heel on the line of the shot, and you can have your right foot pointing out to the right just very slightly so that you're more comfortable. And then your left foot goes about shoulder width apart, 
and about half a foot further forward than your right foot. And that's just to give you some stability on the shot. That's just a nice distance between the two feet so that you're nice and stable on the shot. Now, exactly the distance between these two feet or how far forward your one foot is in comparison to the other one, that's not that important. What is important is that we stand behind the line of the shot each time, line up the shot, and then we do the same thing when we walk in over and over again on every single shot. So we're gonna walk in, place the heel of the right foot on the line, the left foot a little bit further forward and shoulder width apart. And then we're gonna get down on the shot and play the shot. And then finally, what I wanna talk about in this video is what our feathers are for when we're down on the shot and we're feathering. Now, they're for two reasons. The first reason is we're feathering to make sure that the cue is going back and forwards in a straight line. We're making sure we're on the line of aim and we're making sure that the cue is moving straight. But the second reason is they're almost like practice swings. We're getting a feel for what that shot is going to feel like when we actually play it. So a way I always explain it is if you were throwing a, a ball into a bin that was about three or four metres away, you wouldn't just get the ball and throw it into the bin. You would you would get a feel for the weight of the ball and the distance before you actually threw it into the bin. So that's the same when we do our feathers. We're just getting a feel for what the shot's gonna feel like when we actually finally play it. So let's do our feathers and have a look at potting this black into the corner and screwing around the corner for one of these three reds. So with our new things in mind now, we're just gonna have a look at playing this blue to the middle. So we're gonna stand behind the line of the shot like this. We're going to walk in, placing our feet where we were just talking about. We're gonna keep this right leg nice and straight, have a bend in this left one just so we're nice and comfortable. And then you can slide forward into the shot and play the shot. So the important thing that I wanted to get across in this video is that you haven't got to be too obsessed with exact measurements. So the exact distance between one foot and the other or how far in front the left foot is than the right, that isn't that important. But what is important is that you do the same thing on every single shot. So consistency is what we're after here. And that's why on each shot, we're gonna stand behind the line of the shot, chalk your cue, and then walk into each shot in the same way every time. So there's no exact scientific measurement or one perfect stance. Judd Trump, Neil Robertson, Ronnie O'Sullivan, they all, they all stand slightly differently, but what they have got in common is that they, all three of them, will do the same thing on every single shot that they approach, and that's what's gonna bring about the biggest improvement in your game. So I hope this video was useful. If it was, then please give the video a like. That just really helps get the video noticed. And also, if you wanna see more instructional videos exactly like this one, then please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Cheers.